Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Perkaha Kodash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video, and I'm going to start it off in 2nd Esdras chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, which is what the true men of the Lord, the prophets of the Most High, chiefly through GMS or Great Millstone, are doing by reading the scriptures and watching the news and then filtering the news through the scriptures and then going out onto the highways and byways preaching this word, as well as putting up video epistles like this to let the elect or the 144,000 and the rest of the righteous one third of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to let you know what to do to uh, come back to your power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and be saved from the calamities of Jacob's trouble, and to also tell two thirds of the nation of Israel who are hard headed and refuse to return under their power, and you heathen nations, chiefly you Edomites of the judgment to come from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for all the wickedness that you've been committing on this planet. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, visit this planet and you people and judge you for all the wickedness you've been committing on it. Verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And these are some of the end time signs the Most High told his elect to look for, to know that they were living in the last days, but really we're living in the last seconds of these last days. And you're seeing earthquakes happening damn near daily all across the planet, as well as uproars of the people all across the planet, which is what I'll be dealing with in this video. And then when you go into Matthew chapter 24, Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so-called Jesus Christ, told his uh, disciples some other end time signs to look for, to know that the end was at hand and that his second coming was nigh, which included the earthquakes, a pestilences, famines, which are coming, nations rising against nation or race wars and kingdom against kingdom, world wars. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And if you have that spiritual eye south, you can clearly see that the end is manifesting right before us. And like I said, in this video, I'll be dealing with the uproars of the people in the world. I have a few clips from Rupley's YouTube channel to show that people are in an uproar and protesting against uh, these new restrictive measures that their governments are pushing dealing with the situation number after 18 and as you sincere Akim know we got to speak in codes to uh, get past YT's algorithms and uh, with these people up in an uproar against their governments not only does that fulfill 2nd Esdras chapter 9 but it fulfills 2nd Esdras chapter 15 verse 16 but there shall be sedition among men and when you go into the definition for that word sedition, it means conduct or speech inciting rebellion against a ruling authority or monarch. And that's what we'll be seeing in the clips I'll be playing and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And your modern day kings and princes are these political figures like your mayors, governors, senators, presidents, prime ministers, etc., etc as well as the authorities like the police and the military that uphold the system and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And these uproars of the people and them being in that seditious spirit, not regarding their kings or princes is gonna get, continue and get even more violent as we get closer and closer to the second coming of Yahweh Shai Hamashayat. Because as you'll see in those clips, those people are getting into scuffles, but you aren't seeing blood in the streets but that blood will flow through the streets and these people will be hunting after these politicians when they realize just how badly they've been screwed over by them. And 
Other factors besides the situation number after 18 are gonna exacerbate the seditious spirit among the people and them being in an uproar. Just wait, when, these, when hyperinflation really hits, more people lose their jobs, the food shortages really hit, fuel shortages, etc., etc. And it's gonna be especially bad over here in the United States of America with all these guns laying around. Now I'm gonna get into my uh, clips showing that seditious spirit among men and that uproar of the people. First clip's titled, Italy, Chaos Hits Rome Streets as Anti-Situation Number After 18 Past Protesters Clash with Police. Clashes between anti divoc past protesters and police forces took a violent turn in Rome on Saturday as officers used water cannons and tear gas to disperse the crowd. According to local sources, at least 10,000 protesters participated in the anti Krispy Kreme pass and anti jungle juice rally. Protesters blocked streets with makeshift barricades and reportedly occupied the premises of the Federation of Italian Trade Unions building in the capital. And I'm gonna play a little bit of each of these clips. this clip now I'm gonna go to my next clip titled France scuffle erupts between yellow vests and police at anti Krispy Kreme pass demo in Paris yellow vest protesters were seen scuffling with local police on Saturday in Paris as the weekly demonstrations against the implementation of a national Tony Soprano passport continued
aujourd'hui, donc déjà pour les gilets jaunes, c'est trois ans. Now to my next clip. Clashes in Amsterdam amid anti-restriction protests in Europe. Protesters and police clashed during a rally against the situation number after 18 passport in Amsterdam. Organized under the slogan Together for Netherlands, the protesters denounced that proof of a jungle juice Recent recovery or a negative test are mandatory for entering public venues. Last clip over in the good old U.S. of A. Anti Tony Soprano mandate protesters attack Divock testing unit in NYC. A group of anti Care Bear mandate protesters attacked a situation number after 18 testing station in Union Square, New York City. Teachers and other school workers rallied from the Department of Education's headquarters in Brooklyn Uptown to denounce mandatory uh, hits. New York City authorities say they introduced the measure to curb the spread of the situation and encourage people to get inoculated. Hey, these clips showed uproars of the people in uh, Europe and to some extent in uh, America. But hey, there are uproars of the people in Australia, Central and South America, the Middle East, Africa, everywhere. And like I said earlier, these uproars of the people and that seditious spirit is going to get continue and get more violent as we get closer and closer to Yahweh Shai Hamashayak's second coming. And there will be blood, death, mayhem, guts, and ass in the streets of all these different places. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akim are edified. Just keep strong and keep pushing this word. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say a bad babal, kwam yasharala, and until next time, shalom.